All right, it's your boy King David, and we're back, and we're going to do the sample and actually double this up. We're going to do two sounds in one chapter. We're going to do that sample, and we're going to do a little small unheard sound that's in there, but it adds a little flavor to the rhythm. All right, so here we go. This is nothing but a sample that I pulled out of my sample library, okay? It sounds like a guy singing the word this, right? So I liked it. So I put it put it in the mix and it sounds like this of course. <laughs> So, and all I had to do was just play that one note. All right. So, it really wasn't difficult to do. Um, hit my channel. Went to my effects. I ran it through effects number 10. Uh, and I don't even have an equalization on it because I liked it the way that it was dry. If I wanted to do anything, let's go ahead and do something to it right now. All right. Let's go ahead and put it at least the equalization on it. Footy band 7. Bam. Right. And on top of that, we'll go ahead and set it to I like the voice clear let's go with that right this. all right it does bring it out a little bit I'm gonna turn it off this. you can hear the difference this. a little bit clearer um, all right so now and that's what we're gonna do now I want to have a little fun with it all right I'm gonna try some different ideas now if you have a sample you want to use it's really good not to overuse a sample but there might be a section where you break it down and you might want to add some <laughs> some different things. So I'm going to go ahead and try and add some different things. You ready? just playing around just trying some different things so a lot could be done with that uh, the other track that we added to this was it's nothing but a like a rim shot or a sticks you know when drummers play they slap the sticks together it's a simple rhythm I'm just gonna solo it and play it with the metronome That's it. It's just uh uh uh. So with the metronome, it's gonna sound like this. Really simple. Um, put it all together in the mix uh, without the sample, just the drums. Just gonna play the drum parts, and we have something that sounds like this. Okay, and what we did with that particular sound is ran it through effects number 11. Okay, and effects number 11, um, we put an equalization on it and kept on rolling. And that's it. And that's one of those parts, sometimes you, you, you can feel a part more than you hear it. It wasn't there to dominate the track or to be loud in the track. It was there just to add a, a, a layer of rhythm underneath the track. Okay. That is it for this segment. Uh, you learned about the sample. The sample is something I pulled in. But now, if you want to create your own samples like, like what I have here, <laughs> you can easily do that with any kind of editor, Adobe Edition, and even uh, Fruity Loops has uh, the Fruity Slicer. And you can speed things up, slow it down, and create your own samples. You can even sing into your microphone and create your own vocal samples. You don't always have to uh, dig into old songs and because when you're trying to produce uh, a song for the music industry, every s sound that you use that's not yours needs to be cleared uh, for sample clearance. So, And that costs money. You have to pay for that. So always be mindful that you can create your own samples. There's no harm, no foul done in that. All right? It's your boy, King David. One love.